fish, bless them, set those before them, and the people ate and were satisfied. Now let's think of this. Just think with me here for a second, okay? Those fish were never born, right? Like, it's not like Jesus had to, you know, wait for them to turn into fish eggs and then eventually edible fish. When he multiplied the loaves, right, it wasn't like he started with yeast and water and flour. No, he just made loaves, right? They, they were already whole, they were already edible, they were already ready. Now, think with me here. When you read the Genesis account, the creation account, it is very, very clear from that account that God created all that there is in six ordinary 24-hour days. Why else would you have, it was morning, it was evening, day one. It was morning, it was evening, the second day. All the way through the six days. And then Moses, commenting on that account, says, In six days the Lord created the heavens and the earth. It's apparent, it's explicit, it's totally clear. And Christians, down through the centuries, believed that. Until the advent of modern unbelieving science where scientists who rejected the gospel and the lordship of Christ looked at the extant scientific evidence and through the lens of their unbelief came up with the idea that the universe is billions and billions years old. And the earth allegedly is four and a half billion years old. And the basic argument is, well, the earth looks old, so it is old. You know, there's evidence of it being old. Now let's think about this. When the Lord established the Garden of Eden on the earth, he put trees in there, right? We know of at least one tree that was there. And it didn't start as a sapling, it was a tree that bore fruit. And if you would have gotten there 30 seconds after that tree was put there, you would have thought, this, is a, this tree has been here a while you would have thought there's no way that tree is 30 seconds old. When God created Adam, he didn't create a baby that had to mature. He created a fully developed man, probably in his prime, probably in his early 20s. Sin wasn't a problem then. In great shape. And if you would have looked at Adam five minutes after he was created, it would be hard to persuade you that He's not 20, he's five minutes old. But God created the universe in a fully formed, complete way. He didn't create a fledgling universe that had to mature. Rather, he created the world with maturity. When God made Eve, Adam didn't have to wait for a baby to be raised in order to have a wife. No, she was born as a fully matured woman, and Adam said, woohoo, right? So the universe was created with age, just like these fish, just like these bread. And so we would expect that when scientists look at the universe and try to discover things about it, that they wouldn't find a universe that is still coming to exist, but that they would find a mature, fully developed universe that has the appearance of age. It's only until recently that Christians have sought to compromise themselves by taking the uh, secular conclusions of scientific inquiry. Those conclusions are not based on the evidence. They're based on the worldview of the concluder. And they've sought to harmonize those with the Genesis account. And what they've said is that, well, it's not really six days. It's sort of like six-day ages. You know, maybe God, what he meant by a day was like 300 million years, you know. Moses doesn't say it was 24 hours. Or maybe this is sort of a metaphor. Maybe it's poetry. You can always hide things that you don't like in the Bible by chalking it up to the opaque nature of poetry, right? 
But that's not what Moses thought, and that's certainly not what Jesus thought, because he said, in the beginning, God made man 